The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. All right, everybody, welcome back at the show. Everybody drinking SoCo and Lime. <laughs> My favorite drink. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like, like to start the show by apologizing for the last show. For those that didn't understand me, or, you know, if I was slurring my words, I had, a, a, I guess, too much soak on lime. <laughs> uh, Fennel had to drink as much as he could before his ride came to pick him up. <laughs> Banging on my door. I got responsibilities, <laughs> man. Uh-huh. I'm a family man. Right, yeah. I, I'm a changed man. I, yes. I, are you a fan of soak on lime? Yeah. Is it one of yeah. your favorite drinks? When was the last time you had soak on lime? It's been a minute. It's been a while. Yeah. When I drink soak on lime, I like to lay down in bed. Yeah, like get get comfortable. Get comfortable. Put some Marvin Gaye on. Yeah, just just listen to SoCo and Lime all day. Aaron, <laughs> any thoughts? I never want to think about you laying down in your bed <laughs> listening to Marvin Gaye. So no, no thoughts. Sometimes I have SoCo and Lime while I'm playing Monopoly. Um, trouble. I like to make it a family game night. <laughs> Great start to the show, yeah. everybody. All right, great start. So we, we actually have uh, a special guest in again. He's just yeah. kind of hanging out in the back like a troll. Yeah, I'm just like a rapist. Uh, Still from... mind me. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, from... Extreme lefts already. Hey, I haven't had rape. any rape jokes on my podcast lately, so. So, from Matt's bad so don't bring that shit over here. Yeah. <laughs> so from Matt's bad judgment, Matt is in, is in the building. And his show is back. His Hi, show everybody. is back. We're back. You can, you can either catch the show. Um, or I renamed it Lee's Bad Judgment after the first show since it was ninety yeah. percent Lee, I which I like. Doing big things, you guys are making videos now. Well, that's why I call. That's why I just Karen. said the, the Bad Judgment crew because there's really no. It's not Matt's first of all. Judgment anymore. No, I've been trying to take the Helens back. Where I'm like, I've actually been realizing, I'm like, wow, this has been like ninety percent Lee. <laughs> so the next episode we do next week is gonna be my own shit. So there we go. All right, there you go. How's the Ukraine numbers looking? Ukraine is fucking loving me. I don't know why they like me. They like sad, depressing people, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'll tell it's just it's like, like the weather out there. It's <laughs> like David Hasselhoff in Germany. You can't explain it. Like, it's just there. Like, there's like I'm actually trying to get someone to get me gigs over in Ukraine. But I'm like, <laughs> do these people like me that much where I can do stand-up over there? I will go there and be their god. That's the only reason why we... a sad, sad country. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You ever see Euro Trip Where they yeah. go there with like 10 cents? Yeah. Like, I'll be a fucking millionaire. Have you ever seen Hostel? Yeah. <laughs> so, so... <laughs> so speaking of Lee, I had, a, I had a fun experience this week. This is... I learned a lesson. I learned a valuable lesson. A valuable lesson is... Some people are assholes. Don't get into arguments with other people's friends. Sometimes you can realize that, like, you know, you're cool with one person, but their friends might be a little suspect. That's what happened in this particular case. <laughs> Lee seemed like a nice... Was it with Lee? No, no. Because no, he not. mentioned something today, like someone with Dion or <laughs> someone we know. He, he had... Well, tell the story. Yeah, tell so story. Lee had posted this, like... See, Lee seemed like a... Ge- I don't know him. He seemed like a generally nice guy. Mm-hmm. So he, he was posting something about doing some, like, charity work. He was at a gas station and, and wanted to pay it forward and pay for somebody's gas. And all of his friends just straight shitted on him. Damn. To the, like, like not like ball busting, like we do ball busting, but like... It got personal and yeah. there was like no facts behind. All right, this is how it went down. It went like... Because um, he claimed it was my friends. I was like, no, they're not... I was like, I don't think anyone I know like said anything We're bad. too busy to give a shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was your, it was your number one fan. Oh, uh, oh was Doug. Name? Doug, yeah, he started it, but another dude was like, basically t- said that he was like a bad dad. I'm like, like, yo, Ooh. take care of your family first. The funniest part about it was, wow. take care yeah. of your family first before you do all that. He you know? mentioned something earlier and then today it was like, about it. He was like, dude, I do take care of my family. He's like, dude, I know, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> oh, you don't kid about somebody being <laughs> like, a bad dad. No. That's some bullshit. That's like saying, like, hey, <laughs> stop raping your kids. Yeah. And it's like, just I don't kidding. rape the kids. Like, oh, no, I'm just fucking with you. But I'm not gonna take it back. So, so I was like, "So we, we just go what? No, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna well, go right just back. mean the dramatic turn, yeah. like, oh, okay, we're yeah. with people. We're gonna keep it rolling." So I was like, <laughs> I, was, "I was, reading. I was feeling bad. I was like, damn, we have to do like, like fatherhood. That's the bullshit." Yeah. So that's why I stick up for him. Was like, "Yo, keep doing your thing. Being a being a good role model. You're spreading a nice." Hold on a second. So this is a twofold crazy story. 
They were shitting on him for doing something good, and you had nice things to say. Yo, Dion, <laughs> the world is not ready for a good guy, Dion. Like, you're, really, you're really trying to get this this baby face thing going, aren't you? I, I am. I actually am I've a hero. I've listened to two past episodes, and it's all about a feel yeah. and baby face. I am, I am the hero this city needs. But anyway. <laughs> not the one we need at the moment. Doesn't this give you a taxi <laughs> taxi driver vibe right now? Are well, you in the mirror? Like, I'm a, I'm a, like, he's a Falling down. So, <laughs> oh my god, with Michael Douglas. <laughs> He's one moment away from busting up a bodega with a billy club. He is wearing a tie <laughs> shirt right now. So, so anyway, I get back to the story. Um, so yeah, I was, I was being nice. I said, yo, keep doing your thing. And then some dude at the cut was like, mind your own fucking business. And I'm like, wait. that's." I said, okay, hold on. <laughs> wait, I, I got to gotta tell everybody this. The Dion a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago, when my nigga, I will eat your face. <laughs> but, a couple of hours, a couple of, 15, when did we start this podcast? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I was like, look, it's kind of weird that you said that because you weren't minding your business when Lee posted the thing in the first place. I figured that's a nice PC calm thing to say. Wrong. <laughs> no. So then this motherfucker was like, oh, you in the closet? Yeah, I'm in the closet, motherfucker. Listen to the story right now. I'm in the closet butt-fucking your girlfriend <laughs> while you're taking pictures Great with your dog, back. you stupid motherfucker. Listen to the show. Come hit me up. You can find me. I don't, I'm not hard to find. <laughs> I'm not hard to find. Wait, tell me. What happened to you being the whole good guy? Then? I am a good guy. I'm decent tired, bitch. Quick <laughs> clack. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. See, here's the thing with Lee's people that he knows. I don't fuck with those people because they, like, they are like borderline psychotic. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, in That's case the only time I've seen a pay forward message on Facebook, like saying, "Hey, you know, be a good person, don't be a dick." Yeah, and people be like, you know what? Fuck you for that message. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, he's like, like, I never heard of anybody shitting on a dude. Like, he seems like a like a generally nice dude. He's a nice guy, and That's... people were just shitting on him for doing nice things. Like, this is crazy. and they bring up shit that had nothing to do with but anything. Did, he, did like, he like defend himself? Kind of. Well, yeah, kind of. He was, was like, hey. just like, fuck it. He was like, he was like, you don't. Even, he was like, you don't know something about my life. Like I am. A- like, you know, I'm a good dad. And, and, and like, are these people that even know him, or just because I don't know? Just because your Facebook friends doesn't mean you're fucking know anybody. No, no. no. <laughs> like, <laughs> his like, friends are like they're brutal on him. One of them, he said, <laughs> "Oh, step into my house, and then you'll know how I live." And they're not close enough friends where he's been to his house <laughs> like that. So just to be spouting out. I was saying, no facts. I mean, not for nothing. We never been to your house either. I just got my. House. I mean, Jesus Christ, Dion's even been to my house. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Well, I've been to his house, but I've never been to his house. Oh, you've never been to Dion's house? I'm better friends with Dion than you are. I know. (laughs) (laughs) We've all been to Aaron's house. You would have been at my house, but you didn't show up that day. I couldn't show up that day. I was going to show up to help you move because I was the only friend... Well, that offer to help you move. Yeah, shit. That, that is true. Wait, when were you moving? I wasn't moving. I was bringing. I was. I was buying a couch, but then we, it fell through. We didn't end up doing. I it. I didn't know about this. It doesn't matter. You wouldn't have been able to help you, anyway. You... <laughs> <laughs> it caused. It, it called for people lifting things. I would have. I would have to pick you up to come over, yeah. to help me move, and take oh, you yeah, back home. For the purpose. And then, then he just would have been there to direct. Uh, Fennel, Fennel's got some <laughs> sneaky, like, uh, uh, some sneaky there. strength. I Listen, think. Uh, Fennel was like, tell that to my door. Who he struggles to open. Every Try time he goes to smoke a cigarette. All your furniture with the only other person that help is your pregnant girlfriend who you can't can't help. I, I, I'm down. All mm-hmm. right. I know you had to you had to hold the baby the whole time while she moved shit. For it you. was yeah. You're, you're, and you're, and she was labor. Yeah. So wait, it's like Kiff and uh, Amy and Futurama with him. <laughs> that is so fucked up, but maybe accurate. <laughs> it was like his wife and uh, and uh, the new selfie warrior Josette. <laughs> I was over there. I was going to mention that when I put one up today. I was like, huh, I'm in the running, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just your camera just gets a little too close. Well, you, my, I don't. I don't have fucking twelve inch, uh, twelve foot long arms. <laughs> well, you 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 got the um, you got the new phone like now, so you now you want to take pictures. But Josette takes the same fucking picture. It's the same one. Same angle. Same, same angle. angle. Yeah, I was gonna say that. It's just a different shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you so got competition. Chris, you got comp. She's over there <laughs> fucking editing pictures as we speak. Yeah, she's, <laughs> it's the same, she's it's just those picture. YouTube videos, one selfie a day, <laughs> three sixty five, <laughs> different shirts. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically <laughs> what it is. Um, I don't, yeah, uh, what, what else has been going on? Other than the, the Missouri I'm, thing? I'm um, on a low-fiber diet. Oh, congrats. Thank you. Why? You don't want to shit that much? Yeah, my shit. Like, I've literally stayed in my toilet pool <clears> too much. 
All right, All right. moving on. We're not going to get go. into that rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to say no to that conversation. I don't know. You guys were looking for a subject. I was like, all right, I'll chime in. Well, I have a good subject. We didn't get to talk about it the last one episode because we, 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 it was, it was <laughs> like, like, this here we go. Like, yeah, where is this going to go? It was this, Deer this, Hunter this, right this, here. This is apparently Dion. This, was, it was, this is the propaganda episode, yeah. we'll call it. <laughs> With Missouri? No, it was, no. Well, he'll, he's gonna. He'll get to it. Oh. If you haven't caught on by now, no, I think Dion. If you don't know where this is going, if you don't know where this is going, strap on right now. Yeah, this is, here comes some <laughs> bullshit. If this is your first time listening to the show, get ready. It's, Dion it, may sound black, but this is Dodge City. We have Dodge City around. <laughs> so let, let's come. Let's get out of Dodge City. Let's get right to the facts. Okay. Um, why do you think? I'm not gonna ask Aaron because he won't answer the question. Okay. Why do you think Aaron doesn't like white people when he's drunk? <laughs> you don't like white people. Oh wait, wait. I like you, man. Thank you. <laughs> I, have, I, I have a select. I have enough information and data. I've known known Aaron for close to ten years now. <laughs> yeah. Um. This is this is the thing. What happens with Aaron is when he's sober, he loves everybody. Most people anyway. He's still an asshole when he's sober. When a couple of drinks get to him, <laughs> Uncle Aaron comes out. What happens is it's not just Uncle Aaron. It's just Bernie Mac Aaron. He's looking at you like he looks at America. Like you know what? Fuck you. Aaron just. Sees anger when when he gets drunk, and then he looks at us and he's like, "You know what? You went through the struggle, so I'm not gonna be for you." Then he looks at the closest white person to him and he's like, "You know what? Your life was too easy. Let me make it a little I, I, hard I have, right now." I have a problem with white privilege. What? What? <laughs> is, that, is that why you like me so much? I have no white privilege in me. Yeah. Well, no. I've been to your house and they beat you to death. <laughs> Thank you. So, Thank you. So I know you've gone through the struggle. <laughs> Pound it. Yes. <laughs> Arrogance Puerto Rican Donald Trump. So so what what's what do you think specifically happened that um made the uh Tommy and Aaron Beef come, come down? down? I think no beef. Stop Tommy? it. Stop it. Stop it. We were there. Wait, Tommy? Not, we're, we're, yeah. yeah. Aaron doesn't like Aaron doesn't like Tommy. We're we're, we're gonna get to it. Oh no! It, people, <laughs> he brought, <laughs> believe me, I get why Aaron doesn't like Tommy. The Aaron and Tommy thing is not a white and Puerto Rican thing. It was just Aaron and Tommy because I guess Tommy is a little more cockier. Yeah. And oh, Aaron, believe me, I get it. Aaron goes down to his bastard. Basic, That's there he goes. Aaron goes down to his But basic. there wasn't a beef. You're, you're claiming Tommy, like some sort of no. I the just, best I way to like, describe Tommy, he's an acquired taste. Yeah, if I like think shit. Aaron came down to <laughs> basic you Puerto Rican rules. With you're in my house, motherfucker. You can't act like this in my house, and I think that's what it came down to. Because we saved Tommy's life that night. <laughs> like, I totally get that. <laughs> <laughs> we saved my man's life that night, and you know what? Because Aaron gets to a point where, because I've been a victim of it. <laughs> wait, wait, to can I ask him. a question? What led to this? Here's here's what I here's what I can tell you. <clears throat> we were recording the shit show, second, yeah. the second one, and at one That's point, the great title for that show, the shit show, and people can't uh, see. We should remix it. Yeah. We should I remix actually it. have a shit show of my own. <laughs> people aren't going to be able to see my look, but I'm I'm just imagine the, the the worst look you can give somebody. This is what happened. I'm sitting on the other ta- other side of the table recording. Aaron goes. <laughs> well, was while, that the sports talk one? No, no it, it was, was when we had like 13 people up yeah, in the month. It was while um, Josette decided to, instead of talk on the show, she's going to do origami. You could hear oh, yeah. all the <laughs> shit in the background. Yeah. Um, so, so it was like an I Miss show where like, there's 20 people and people Yeah, talk. it was like so many people. It was almost like a like a Stern show that wasn't funny with a bunch of strippers. <laughs> <laughs> with no one stripping. With nobody stripping. It was the worst. Unfortunately, season. that was not happening. It was the worst season finale ever. We, it was so bad we didn't actually air. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the, reason, the reason we had to end the season yeah. was that show. Yeah, yeah. But that what happened reason. during the episode, though? I don't know it what happened. It was the. I think so, he, it was it, the, the episode was literally Josette and Tommy arguing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was <laughs> oh, told believe to be me, quiet, I listened to it. <laughs> not hijack stuff. So I just sat. sat First of all, and, you weren't told that till afterwards. So <laughs> no, 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 no. It was before that episode. I, I, I mean, I say not to hijack the show with every show. I mean, granted, we were talking about some touchy sh- stuff. I won't lie. Tommy is an acquired taste for some I mean, people. He's a, I think he's all right, dude. It's well, just, you hung out with us at Volpe's later yeah, that night. exactly. I was like, yo, we, we well, did the after We hung party. out with Josette at the diner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wasn't there for that. <laughs> You had you. I think you had to kind of tag along. You had to be wingman. Yeah. Right? We're, not, we're not gonna blow anybody's spot up. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No comment, selfie I'm warrior. I, don't get uh, <laughs> I think you had to tag along. Listen, I was doing right along like Kevin Hart. <laughs> you know, somebody might have been fresh out of a marriage. <laughs> All right, moving oh, yeah. on. She was, moving oh, yeah, on. She was, moving on. I'm not gonna lie, she was totally trying to move it on Tommy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> 
<laughs> so now that we got Selfie Warrior and SoCo and Lime out the way. I know who I'm not going to tag in. <laughs> <laughs> she knows it's true. What do you think? Of, what do you think about um, like, like would you have an alias if you, like, you have kids now? <laughs> I stopped having an alias when I had a job. <laughs> I mean, after you Hold got on a high second. You, you didn't put uh, Fennel Dad Nigga at AOL.com <laughs> for your, no. on your resume with your first job. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big ass or something. That's fucked up and that's racist. <laughs> That reminds me of the old joke, like when you try to get your boy job and it's like, yo, Mike Dyke Piff. <laughs> no, listen, I've, I've seen some of the resumes that have come into my job, and I'm looking at these emails and I'm like, Eat that what? pussy 69. <laughs> no, but, it, but it's like your boy 2246 at, at like a. msn.com or motherfuckers still have hotmail. <laughs> like, and even if you were like, I'm a go getter, you know, yeah. very professional. And then, yeah, like, there's a starting point and you just put yourself off of it with your, your shitty email. ass email. I think what? there's a do's and don'ts for email. Uh, for resumes, one is don't put your picture on your resume. <laughs> Who did that? Isn't that like in Revenge of the Nerds? <laughs> no, no, this no, is no, actually no. a true story. <laughs> that was actually somebody y'all know, <laughs> not me. Not naming names, but kids. If you're out there trying to get a job, don't put your picture on your resume. Isn't that this like is a person I know? That's the yes, exact same one we'll from Revenge of the, the Nerds. What's the, what's the initials? Yeah, give me the initials. Damn, it's been a while. M. Oh, M.M. Mm-hmm. Think of religious sex. <laughs> think, think of religious groups. And... Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, yeah. And he's not surprised. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right. That, well, you know. You know what? I feel like we should Sometimes go. a picture looks good. And if that is your best skill. Well, hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got nothing to Th- add to those that. Those are called headshots. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, so we, uh, shall we go into our main thing about what we were talking about, like what's funny and what's not when it comes to boys, as far as what you shouldn't touch. What? When you're, you're you talking about never, touching you boys, you should never touch boys. Yeah. You know? and nothing's funny about touching boys. You know? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Even, what is wrong with even, you? You said it. Even <laughs> you did Mace that. disagrees. Yeah. So <laughs> the, I know it's all with Matt you, looking at me weird. You, like, yeah, you, you <laughs> made Matt cry. I made you. Oh, <laughs> I was talking about jokes, you asshole. <laughs> When it comes to jokes, what's too personal? Because guys, there is nothing too personal. Family, no, no, yeah, family, you, kids, you, when you, when you, when your you, lady. If yeah. you're if you're going like a, like attacking someone, no. yeah, leave the family out. But no, just, jokes aren't just, so meant to just be attacking. Snaps, like snapping at people. Like, what do you mean snaps? Like, like would you poking fun? I, don't, me, I, I don't like the. Don't bring my family into it. Let me yeah, ask. Let me ask you do whatever you want. Let me ask you a question. It's not about your family. You can calm down. Don't, don't get yourself animated. <laughs> He's already got his fist pumped. <laughs> ready to break that Miller Lite bottle. If um, you had a friend who was making, um, let's just say, <laughs> random sexual comments by another boy's girlfriend, <laughs> would you call that out on a podcast, for example? <laughs> <laughs> so hold up. For reference, listen to... <laughs> Go ahead and explain it again. So what I'm saying is, let's let's say let's say, hypothetically speaking, hypothetically, hypothetically <laughs> speaking, um, Matt was like, "Damn, Mike's girlfriend is." Thick. <laughs> wow, what a hypothetical! I mean, Why does it gotta be me? <laughs> you're to my left. <laughs> would, you, uh, would, would, it be, you, would it be okay to, to Would it be okay to call uh, Matt out on it on the podcast? Sure. Okay, that wouldn't be taking it too far. Now, what if what if Matt had a girlfriend? Oh. Hypothetically. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> hypothetically. Right We're going to call this show fucking... the Burn All Bridges show. <laughs> this, oh. I'm telling you, this is the propaganda episode. We're back with a vengeance, everybody. Oh, by the way, my ex listened to the podcast. I know, I know. For the four, four, times, four times. And she was offended the fourth time. <laughs> Wait, time out. She was, like, she was like this. Grandma... I can't believe this. She Listen brought to every, she brought the whole family in. <laughs> wait, time out. Time I was out. like, wait a minute. I was like, you're offended Matt, right now. Matt I was like, Bell I know you listened three times. She's like, I just heard it again. She's like, I'm offended. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> That's a good ass episode, guys. Yes. Quick, well quick, done, everybody. Quick, <laughs> well quick done. pause. Quick pause. The plug. So um, that was actually uh, episode 11. Matt in treatment. Go ahead. For reference. Oh no 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 no. 
It, this is a different show, so I don't want to bring it back to that. I just want to make that known to everyone. <laughs> Wait, did she have a favorite part of the show? Like, uh, I I mean, like where, where were we the most offensive? Like, I like to know. Yeah, <laughs> may, maybe for people who didn't listen to episode eleven, she said, "I can't was, believe you would do that." What What did we talk about? You talking about the fisticuffs or? Oh, the fist. <laughs> oh, the fisting was the biggest part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were trying to be. We were trying to slide that in. He just went right for it. Yeah, I fisted. I tried to like help you out. Help you, out. You, you rejected that alley. No, like, no. He, he was like, I, no, I was like, no, get that shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring the real up in here. Yeah. No, no sugar coat and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it's his fist slid right in quickly. Why 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 uh, beat around the bush? He went the whole fist first. Yeah. Superman pose. Yeah. Superman it looks man. like you punch a hole through her body. He, he was like Ken from freaking Street Fighter. <laughs> fire in his fist. He gave her the tiger uppercut. <laughs> uh, uh, I will say this: it took her the fourth time to listen to to get offended. Really? The fourth time to get offended? Yeah. Because like, I literally said, I was like, you know, I know you listened to it three other times. You know what happened? She was like, listen to this show my ex did. It's kind of funny. And then her friend was like, what the fuck? Like, you know what? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, listen, Becky. This is going to be awesome, my friend. <laughs> Sarah, stop ruining our time. <laughs> or what probably happened is she had some other other dude in the cut. And he was like, um, so I heard you like to get fisted. Can I do that? On... The Shade Show. <laughs> uh, what's up with that? Just like, wait, what the fuck happened? <laughs> oh, yeah, she, had this, she had the fast forward to 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our new tagline. We heard it on The Shade Show. Heard it on The Shade Show. <laughs> heard it on The Shade Show. I'm going to have a lot of questions to answer You tomorrow. heard it here first. <laughs> yes. I'm like, wait, what happened? Why are you mad? Because I heard it on The Shade Show. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking happy homes. One show at a One time. One show at a time. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Trying to get the Allentown divorce rate past fifty percent. Let's go. So, to, so to bring it full circle and about homes, um, <laughs> you gonna be a stepdad soon? <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> you don't want any kids? You good? Only mine. How many kids you got? How many kids? None that I know of. Gio doesn't count. Yeah, I got my dog. He went to New Orleans a couple of times. We don't know what he did down there. I'll tell you a story about kids. Okay. My wife talked me into getting my oldest a cell phone. Oh, no. Really? Wait, how old are you? 14, isn't she? 14? Calm down. Woo. I ain't that old. I'm not you, nigga. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You're older because you have kids. Okay. All the alcohol you drink every night has stunted your growth. You just, and you just ruined your liver. That son is growth. Yeah. He's like six foot. I'm five seven. Oh, uh, uh, you started. You drink early. way more. Than you. <laughs> apparently, Fennel did too. Yeah. Can we have a poll? Because apparently, I don't list down on our lifestyle as family men. Family men to drink every night, like. I don't think there's anything wrong. Fennel, with it. you've been drinking every night since the day I've met you. Quite frankly, wow. so I don't even want to hear Quite that. Quite frankly, shit. Dion should be drinking with the guys from like King of the Hill. Yep. <laughs> yep. No, she's like, she's eleven. He, he lives there. Well, she's eleven. <laughs> yeah, she's, she'll, she'll be eleven at the end of this month. Oh, so she's eleven. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, she should. Well, I think that's a. Um, yeah. Well, uh, is it thing? You can't meet Junior High nowadays without a cell phone. You get clowned on. It's but like she, one of those. Well, I'm like, you're, you like, like that way. I was thinking. Yeah, she might need it to get in contact no. with you for emergency that, that, school. That's, that, a, that's, like, the, that's nah, the big argument. You're going to get her to be dazzled case two, sir? That's the big argument for most like, relationships. What does that ever change, though? Like, you, kids need to get in contact with you every time. Like, it doesn't right. mean you need to be but, five But we're no longer in the time where you could get to a payphone. <laughs> Do they play, spo- or they does literally play sports? They literally left, left the whole thing there um, and pulled the phone part out. What junior high kids you knew were using payphones? Nigga, I'm old. <laughs> so, so, so to answer your question, she does play softball, but do you go to every <laughs> softball game when he's allowed? <laughs> when, when he's when not they, banned by the they park, banned him for doing some like shit. Like me, like oh, like yeah, I, go, I, I have softball practice, but no parents here to pick me up. No, no, I go to the practice. Or like Bart Simpson, well, he was waiting for his dad. Oh, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, got, he's got to go to all the games now to pick her up, just in case some other people from the softball league see her. And get mad for being cut from mafia style. Mafia style. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're throwing shit out there. Aaron, have you, have you ever kicked somebody out of fantasy football? I have not. Really? Especially after I got caught cheating. <laughs> All right, Bill Belichick. But since we're going out there, I want to continue with this. Well, all I know is if I've gotten caught cheating, yes. Even if it was by mistake, my first thing was not be like. I'm cutting these niggas at the end of the season. Do you know what I'm going to do? Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Time out. First of all, they had 
nothing to do with it, as y'all already know. <laughs> and, if we're gonna be, and if we're really gonna be throwing shade, we, we were we were directing this anger at at and and, and he at, at Aaron last show. Aaron brought up a, a topic about you having sex with fifty year old women. What's up with that? What? Hey, there's nothing really? wrong Did about you, having sex you, with fifty year old women. Wait, what? You said that this never happened. No. Hey, hey, for, for those that are listening, that, might be, that never happened. Actually, <laughs> no, he bring, might have been talking about me. Bring up yeah, that was him. I know he did. I, I yeah, had sex him. with a fifth year old woman. Yeah, I yeah. did not do that. Wait, wait here's, here's how the context <laughs> happened. Wait, wait, we we're not done with you. No, 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 no. We'll come, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. There's a 30 minute No, 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 no. We'll come back to it. What happened was. The is the best thing ever. What happened was. Deflex City, bitch. Deflex City. On the wrestling show that. Oh, real. On the wrestling show that nobody listened to, we're talking about 50 year old Sonny being a porno, and you said. Don't throw stones, nigga. And then said, Brad and Chucky. Now, I don't know what that is about. No, no. We weren't talking about old chicks. No, we were, we were talking, talking about, about ugly, ugly chicks. chicks. <laughs> and, I, and I am so, guilty of that. So I don't know what so, nigga. Yeah, I wasn't trying to say he, he messed with the old chicks. An uh, ugly chick. The, and the I reason I brought the Bride of Chucky is, remember that the last couple of scenes of Bride of Chucky when she gets burned she, alive? <laughs> <laughs> the one, booty was fat, one, though. One day, it was like this. <laughs> and now... <laughs> For now, he was like, "Yo, I'll be back, y'all." <laughs> and I feel then, like you clinking those is like warriors. <laughs> Come on, that yeah. one, he went out to fight. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, I barely survived this. She, she was, she was in the shadows. Listen, like she didn't want to get into the light for, for, for fear that she burned. You know like, why I feel like this is a racist joke because she wasn't that bad looking. She was just super dark. She was like Wesley Snipes with a tan, but at the Charcoal. same time, the booty was fat, and I stand by it, and I'm not even mad at it. This was not a racist joke. She was ugly as shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was dark as shit. I could get over dark as shit if she was if she was good looking. <laughs> team, team dark booty. Team dark booty. No more dark booty. I'm taking her out for no, 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 She's done. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen. She was. She was in that easy bake oven way too long. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. Like, hey, I was young. I was, like, barely 20 at the time. I didn't give a shit. Like, shit, you, you were, being the 50-year-old when you were 20? older than 20, motherfucker, because like, we were going out to bars. Here's, <laughs> 22. I was 22. You yeah. might have been old. Don't, don't yeah. blame your judgment hey. <laughs> on your age. Hey, I was 21 when I banged the 50-year-old. It's like walking to an old major league Thank baseball you. stadium. Here's, I'm glad Matt's on the show. Oh, yeah. totally. Here's the yeah, main... but that's because Matt goes to old people bars <laughs> on a regular basis. This was Ocean City, Maryland. <laughs> What's I, the difference? <laughs> I fucked her in front of her daughter. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody. Come back next week for <laughs> That Solid said it all. Well, we are wrapping up the show to that now. We are at our time limit. <laughs> oh, you know sorry. That was the walk-off home run? Uh, you know it wasn't so a walk-off like... home run, but it was a walk-off. When uh, Keanu has to close the game. Uh, <laughs> Matt, you have anything to plug? <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually. For more jokes like that. <laughs> for more jokes like that, go to Matt's Bad Judgment on SoundCloud.com. You know what? To promise the people, you gotta tell that story in the next show. Oh, the lead in is already there. We you know what? Over a thousand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, thank you for those that are listening. Uh oh, man. Finel's right um, we, <laughs> <laughs> we had over a thousand listeners on uh, what, 1600 the last 16, show? 16 something, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for thank the, you the for army listening. is building. Yeah. yeah. The Shade Army. Do you guys have, I was going to say friends. Friends. The Shade Army. Was, watch out. Mar- F- Fennel's married now, so he doesn't want you. <laughs> I was going to say, Ten you guys have, ago, a, you guys have a nickname a for your fans? Huh? You guys have a nickname for your fans yet? Shade Army, I guess. I just, shade, shade Army? Yeah, yeah fan, fans of Aaron are victims. <laughs> 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 and enemies of Dion are just neighbors. <laughs> they let one of them move softball in. softball members. <laughs> Beware. They let, uh, on the they let one of them move life. in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the show. And Matt doesn't have fans. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> wow, you do hate white people. <laughs> Aaron, yes. <laughs> Aaron is still uh, he still says fuck you to Tommy goodbye <laughs>